Hey guys, if you're looking for some landscaping ideas and want to find some simple ways to highlight the front of your home or backyard pool area, or just highlight some of the beautiful trees in your landscape, then watch this short consultation video and be sure to get your free consultation video by visiting us at lightingdoctor.ca. Enjoy the video and I look forward to hearing from you. Hey Renee, thanks for the pictures. Um, I'll walk you through uh, some ideas that um, you could use to light your property, kind of walk you through which lights I would use um, and some of the best places to put them to kind of maximize the effects that you would get and really make the landscape stand out. A um, couple things to comment on is, I, you know, I really like the uh, the brickwork on the house. I think that's a, a key feature and really important to highlight that. And then um, the large trees and some of the other pictures, I think those are super important too. So I'll give you some ideas for that. So looking at the front of the house here, what I would definitely want to do is start by highlighting uh, the stonework. And the way I would do that um, is just by using some typical up and accent lights. Um, they're going to be give you about a 35 degree spread. Um, they're going to be bright enough, but uh, not overpowering that it's going to be so bright uh, to light up the whole house. But the way I would probably do it is at uh, the base of both of these um, kind of pillars by the window or the wall by the window, I would have one shining up on each side of those. I would also focus on the entranceway here. So just beside the steps, I would get two lights up here. And even though the one light would be behind this tree, I think it would create a nice balance on both sides of the entranceway. And at night, it would still look really cool because you'd kind of get the shadow or silhouette of this tree on it. Um, and then what I would do is continue that. Um, you could do it two ways. What I would suggest you probably try and do to see what you like more, because both will be good options, is either have the light um, behind this tree that highlights this tree, and then it's going to splash a little bit on this wall, or stick with the same theme, get it behind the tree, just on the wall, and you get that that silhouette but I mean a good way to uh, to do that is we have this light that you can buy is just a try it before you buy it offer so you buy it it's a discounted rate um, you order it and then you can kind of play with it you just hook it up to a 9 volt battery that we send you and you can actually go and now hold it to these areas and, and maybe have your wife or something have a look and see what you guys like more but I think either one of those would be a good option so I would do that and then I would do the same thing on this wall here. Uh, the only difference here because of a little bit wider wall I would try and get the lights a little bit further back because the uh, that way the spreads going to be a little bit wider when it hits it and I would probably try and have them on the corners kind of angling up. So that's how I would start with the front of the house uh, initially and I would kind of keep that that theme going along some of the side and stuff too which I'll show you um, and then also what I would do is this is where I'd kind of stagger a few path lights I see that you guys do have some in here I wouldn't use a ton a ton but um, I would want it want you guys to get some in here so um, as we go through these pictures a little bit more I did talk about having those and this is where maybe you might want to stagger some path lights um, you know in here and in here uh, the way I would do that though is wherever, say you have your path light, your up light here shining, I would try and get my path light here and then maybe here and then the other uh, accent light here. Uh, just so you're not having, you know, uh, accent light here and a path light right beside it, you're kind of creating some, some space and then you're creating different levels of light, some high light and then some low light. Uh, and because you have the nice, uh, um, hard hardscape wall here that's where those path lights look good because not only will it light some of this um, it's also going to shed some light down on the wall so i'd probably put you know maybe two of them in there and then same thing over here again if you have a up light here looking from the street you might want to throw one here and then kind of in between under the windows so that when you're looking at it again you're seeing a light 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 here you're going to see a path light you're going to see some highlight some low light and again some highlights so that's kind of the way I would use maybe four path lights in that area uh, and then again in this area I know from the computer generated images um, you showed some taller trees but I don't quite see those in there so I, I would use some path lights again in here um, and this is where you could just stagger them I mean you don't need a ton more just to uh, catch the visibility of the walkway so we're looking at this uh, again this would be one if you're having a uh, an up light here this is where you maybe want a path light maybe a little bit more out here um, so that it is kind of 
in between and balances those but then it's still going to give you some light on the sidewalk so you know you'd maybe have a path light here and then you'd have maybe two i'd say probably no more than three path lights in each one of these areas kind of like you have them now right uh, you know one over here it doesn't have to be right right on the walkway because they are going to spread um some light roughly around you know 12 12 feet or so 10 feet depending on how dark the area is so you could put one here and maybe stick one in the middle here kind of where these rocks are and, and kind of feature some of this grass a little bit and then maybe another one in the corner here um, I would suggest just again not too close to the sidewalk because then there's that extra chance that they're going to get tipped over um, and then for these larger trees uh, what I would do is you're probably going to want to use more than one uplight um, I would suggest at least two to three uplights and what I would do is increase the intensity of the bulb so usually it comes with a, a 20 watt equivalent bulb I would increase that to about a 35 watt equivalent bulb um, and throw you know one I would say at least one or two at the base that really shine up that trunk. You don't have to get them super close, but you don't want them super far either. So somewhere kind of in here and in here so they get most of that trunk, but then a lot of that light's going to get up into the canopy as well. So depending on how many trees like that you have, I see the picture of uh, this one here. So probably two on that one. I would do the same on this one um, because you have two trunks. I would probably focus on two sides of the trunks, one on this side, one on this side. You know, so you're four. Um, and then I think I might have noticed some in the back as well. Um, and I kind of talked about this area already with the uh, up lights on the wall, the path lights in the middle. And then this is another area where maybe you want to throw another um, path light, kind of like you have here, uh, you know, maybe even one or two down closer to the driveway area and then one out here just to create, again, some different levels of light. Um, and then on this side, you know, we kind of talked about that is just placing them more under the window so very similar to where you have them now because you'd have your up light here now instead of uh, assuming this is the same area I'm yeah this is still the same area so uh, yeah assuming you have uh, this light um, on on this tree or, or like we talked about behind on the wall um, and then that one and then you kind of have the path lights in between uh, we keep walking around uh, yeah, and like I said, on these islands, I think the, the three path lights, uh, you do have this light. So, I mean, I'll leave that up to you, whether you uh, use that a lot or not. If you do, you probably don't need the path lights there. It might be something maybe where you're just throwing them on the other ends or uh, more just on the corners here to light some of this sidewalk. Uh, and you might want to balance that on both sides if that's what you're going to do. And then maybe you just throw some path lights like you've kind of done here on the corner to help light the sidewalk. Um, and this one we I talked about putting an accent light on both sides of this window to highlight the uh, the beautiful brickwork this tree is another one you might want to throw an accent light on the only thing I would do is because this you're seeing from the street I'd probably have this light more uh, on the side here so you're viewing it kind of at an angle so you have uh, you have that lit if you're looking this way and then the house is lit if you're looking from the front um, yeah, so kind of, I would say probably kind of in here that kind of lights up this way. And then you have just your lights that accent the nice stonework. Um, kind of been through all of this already. Uh, again, I'm, I'm not sure if that's the same tree or not. I think that's the same front tree, um, as well as this one, but I think you're going to need at least two or three on a big tree like this. You might even actually want three lights, you know, one on each side kind of surrounding it because it is such a big, uh, feature tree yeah on, on both of those so yeah maybe three on this one and I would say at least two on this one getting both of those trunks um, yeah and as we walk around oh and then yeah this front tree again this would be another one um, this one you could probably get away with one it is a pretty big tree so two is not going to hurt it um, again I would say probably from the street side you want to see it and then you probably want to see it from your home so you'd probably look at putting two on that as well um, we've talked about most of these other areas and then this is the only one uh, the only tricky part is you probably have to run wire all the way around but this is uh, it's an area where you could um, you could highlight this with an up and accent light but maybe you want to just keep this a little bit more subtle and maybe this is an area where you just have one or two path lights and you really just focus on featuring the front of the house with the accent lights but an option would also be to put an accent light here and highlight this uh, side of the house because um, it does look like it is a corner lot people would see that 
Uh, that would also look well. It just depends if you want to switch things up and create a little balance. Uh, some path lights in that area might work well. Um, yeah, and that pretty much sums it up. Um, I think you got a great house, a great project to, to light it from. Um, I don't know if you want to do anything with this tree that's in the back. This is something where, you know, I might look at doing something like, uh, like this where you actually have, uh, two or three of these in ground lights because it looks like that tree is, um, in a grass area. So these will actually sit right in the lawn so you can just mow over them. So there's low, no maintenance. Uh, or very little maintenance and then you can kind of surround that tree um, and that would look really well too looking from the street side you'd have the house all lit but then you'd have this big beautiful tree in the back lit as well as the ones in the front so I know it's a little bit of a long video hopefully that helps go um, what I would say take those suggestions go play around on um, sorry I'm just trying to pull up uh, go play around on the website um, go to the shop page you can see all the lights. These are the path lights I'm recommending. Uh, the up at accent lights, like I said, we would probably upgrade those for the big trees to a 35 watt bulb. So let me know how many of those you think you might need. Um, and then if, if you like that idea of the in ground light, how many of those you need. But I think if you, um, let me know roughly how many lights you're thinking. I can put together some prices for you. I think we can easily do an awesome job. Uh, within your budget. Uh, I just kind of want to get your feel for what you think um, of those ideas that I recommended and I'll shoot you kind of a quick quote but we can definitely move some things around. We'll make sure you have the right size transformer wire and all that stuff. So again, thank you so much for your video and I hope this helps. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching that video. I hope you guys got some great ideas for your own do-it-yourself landscape lighting projects. If you want your own free consultation video, like I said before, email me your pictures at cal at lightingdoctor.ca or go and visit us at lightingdoctor.ca and be sure to check out our Try Before You Buy a Light. Again, where you get one premium grade fixture and a King Innovation Instalite battery operated demo kit that you can go and test those lights out on your property before you make any big purchases. So I hope to see you guys again soon. And again, go get your free consultation by emailing your pictures or visit us at lightingdoctor.ca. Thanks so much for watching.